Hey, so we're here uh, at a brisk walk. It took me 25 minutes. I've been here two or three times before, but never actually took the time to see how long it takes to get here. One thing I would suggest though, they don't seem to cut the path anymore. So if you're coming in the summer months, I would definitely recommend a pair of waterproof trousers or you will get soaked. Uh, I've got mine, I, I didn't have mine on to start with, walked probably 20 yards into the reeds, started getting wet, so walked back to my car to get them. A definite must have in the summer months if the humidity is high. Although saying that, I've parked um, that way, I'll put the um, my three words in the description. There is another way to get here, which is behind me past the mill. I've never walked that way before, but when I leave, I may well actually walk that way back to see if it's any better. Because, like I said, I've been here three times now, and every time I come here, I think, I wonder what it's like that way. The problem is I know where it comes out on the road, and it's a bit of a trek back round. So this is definitely the more scenic route the way I've come. But um, with the reeds as high as they are, I think I might risk going back the other way to see if it's any drier. Uh, it's an hour or so, no, hour and a half before sunrise. Uh, I like to get here early. I'm not one of these people that can rock up 20 minutes before sunrise and get set up. I, I don't like to rush, so I like to get here within plenty of time, which today is just as well because I had to walk 20 minutes back to my car and then 20 minutes back again to get my waterproof trousers. I'm shooting quite, oops, sorry. I'm shooting quite a short exposure at the moment because I want to silhouette the mill. So I'm not using any kind of graduated filter to match the sky to the ground because I, I want that look of it being silhouetted. But obviously as the, the sun gets a little bit higher and I want to get some more detail in the foreground, I'm going to put an ND on. Uh, I'll usually use a free stop soft grad and that'll help even it out. So then I can bring out the details in the foreground without overexposing the sky. That's better. Now we're getting some more light in the sky. We can start to see the detail in the field, the mist, and I think there's, yeah, there's a bunch of cows in there as well. So hopefully as the light comes up a little bit, we'll have those in the shot as well. How long have we got? Yeah, uh, ages. Um, yeah, that's the, the downside of being this early. We have 45 minutes until sunrise, but not to worry. I could think of worse places to spend three quarters of an hour. Well, that didn't work out quite as expected, unfortunately. The, most of the mist has already burnt off and the sky, yeah, it was a bit flat, really. I mean, it's nice to have some clear skies, but ideally we could have done with a bit of cloud to bounce the light off from the sun. But all is not lost. The sun hasn't risen yet. You never know. It's always worth hanging on a bit. We might get lucky. I think according to my photo pills it's going to rise behind directly almost behind the windmill so fingers crossed we'll kick around for another 10-15 minutes and see what we get actually quite pleased with that the way it's worked out in the end the mist is back the sun is giving a really good halo around the mill and yeah i think we might actually get a workable shot i was a bit worried there i thought we were going to get nothing but never fear right i think i'm done i am heading off now uh, thank you for joining me i will leave you with a bit little bit of drone footage of the mill and i shall catch you next time Just a quick update about the parking. There is indeed a proper car park. Uh, if you leave the mill and head up 
through the footpath the opposite way to the way I came. It meanders up through a wood, it's about the same distance but it's quite a nice walk and it comes out on the same road but further along. I've put um, another link to my three words to this car park in the description so you can choose whichever way you want to go. I never even knew this one existed but you live and learn. Anyway I really am going now so anyway if you like my channel please subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye!